right, so what if somebody you love gave you this gorgeous bouquet of flowers? Would you like it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, why not? Yes. It's dead. Why is it dead? Because they're old? They're died. They're died. <laughs> they have died. You know, uh, see, someone clipped them from the plant that they were on. And so they died, right? If they were still connected to the plant, would they still be living? Yeah, because that's how they get their nutrients, right? From the plant. Now, if I was to uh, just decide to put them in some soil and water them and give them some sun, would they grow? Would they come back to life? Yes. No. No. Why? Because it's already dead and because it doesn't get this doesn't get its nutrients from by itself. It gets its nutrients from the plant that it's connected to. The plant that has the roots that are dug deep. I don't think they're angry. <laughs> they're angry flowers. I'm going to read you a verse uh, out of John 15, verse 5. It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me, and I in him, produces much fruit, because you can do nothing without me. God is saying that this is who we are, and he is the vine, the plant that this is connected to. So when we cut ourselves away from it, we die. All of our goodness comes from God. Now, sometimes you have plants that are still connected to the vine, but they need pruning. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to cut them back. Sometimes the leaves die, or sometimes they have to be cut back during, I don't, I'm not a gardener, so I don't know when you prune, <laughs> but there's a certain time that you're supposed to cut back so they grow back even more, so, and they produce more flowers or more fruit. What? So sometimes, even though we're connected to God, we need to be pruned a little bit so we can continue to grow. Maybe uh, there's a part of us that's keeping us from God. Maybe God reveals to us that maybe we're being a little bit selfish. Or maybe God takes away some people in our lives that aren't helping us grow. So even though we are still connected, we still need to be pruned back. But remember that. Next time you see a bouquet of flowers sitting in a vase or something, they might be alive for a little while, but they will eventually die because they're cut away. And when you cut yourself away from God, it's hurting you. Yes. So let's pray. You ready? God, I thank you so much from all goodness flows from you. And I thank you for connecting us to you that we may produce good fruit and do wonderful things in your name. I pray that we never cut ourselves away from you. And I pray that we allow ourselves to be pruned, that we may continue to thrive in your name. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.